Okay, we're in, boys. Bosco! Free anti-mind control helmets for the first 50 lunatics to come out of hiding! I've been telling you, little pals, he's just plain vanished. We'd better look around the joint for clues. Good plan, Sammo. Guess that's why they call you guys in for the brainy stuff, and leave the senseless violence to the likes of me. I deeply resent that comment, Mr. Paper. Yeah, Flint. We're gonna have to join together and use every detective skill we know to find Bosco. Well, that's a no-go. Any more ideas? Hmm, let me think. Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Sam and Max Beyond Time and Space. We are now starting at Chapter 4 of the five chapters of this game, and we need to find Bosco. Where could he have gone? He kept talking about some sort of shelter he went to, and uh, we didn't see him at all in the last episode, which is the uh, only episode of the first two games that we've never seen him. Well, by the first two games, I mean the Telltale games, not of course that hit the road. This game, like, never mentions that game, does it? It doesn't reference it at all, any characters from it or anything. I wonder if it just, like, doesn't have, like, the rights to it? I don't know. Hey, Flint. Found anything yet, Sammy? Still working on it. Any leads on where Bosco went? He kept yapping on about T-H-E-M and his secret bunker. The poor delusional sap. What's the word on the street on Bosco's disappearance? I've been making chin music with every pigeon in this burg, but nobody's singing. Trails dried up like a hobo's inner thigh. How quickly the lingo goes from colorful to gut-churning. <laughs> oh, man. How long has Bosco been missing? While you were in Schnitzeltown making chummy with the undead, there was a ruckus in the back of this dive. After that, the bee man took a powder. Hmm. Why were you keeping an eye on Bosco? A going away present for my old partner. God rest that bastard. First case he ever had, 40 years ago, and never solved. Some doll who wanted to keep an eye on this Bosco mook. Said he'd done her wrong, and he had to take the fall. 40 years ago? How old is Bosco? Don't worry, Flint. We've got the skills to find whoever kidnapped Bosco. I am still president, after all. That may be, but are you a bad enough president to rescue the dude? Okay. Stick around, Flint. You boys know where to find me. I think, oh geez, that's a reference. That's a reference to a video game. Ah, what is it? It's one where you actually have to save the president, then you go out for cheeseburgers at the end. I forget the game, though. If somebody knows, I think it's referencing that. Bosco didn't take any pictures of himself. His camera no doubt thinks him. I think it's something, it's something like, are you bad enough, dude, to save the president? As informative as Max Impeachment Weekly is, I doubt it'll tell us where Bosco is. Hmm. I've always wondered what Bosco keeps hidden back here. I've always wondered if he's wearing pants back there. Don't vote for me, that old sign. Well, we're oh, actually back here. It's everything we needed to solve last year's hypnotism conspiracy. Whew! I'd kill for a time machine right about now. Of course, I'd kill for just about anything. <laughs> okay, so there's pickles and stuff. I don't know. What do pickles have to do with the mind control? I don't remember that. I just remember, uh... Oh gosh, Brady Culture, that was his name. This keypad must control the laser grid blocking Bosco's bathroom. Oh, use it to spell boobies! I love that! <laughs> Bosco, lasers, and pushing random buttons are three things that don't go well together, little buddy. It says, the code is in my head. We better find it soon then, it must be getting lonely. Ha <laughs> ha Oh boy. Okay. It's Bosco's My First Moai Head toy. Oh, in the head. Nah. Hmm. Can we destroy the head somehow? Bosco? Nope. Different weenie. Cha. <laughs> shotgun in here. There's not much back here, honestly. No Bosco's in here. Bosco? Uh, nope. Different same. weenie. 
We already checked the roof. Just a Pigeon AA meeting. Nothing worth mentioning. How about the bomb be gone? No way. Bosco, you in there? I hope not. Or Bosco be gone. <laughs> no clues here. Just an enlarger. No big thing. Nuh-uh. Hmm. Nope. X-ray machine. All right. Press. Let's have a look at your X-ray, Mr. Moai Head. We'll see what's causing that persistent tinnitus. <laughs> Prognosis, Sam? Either this toy has a tumor the size of an overfed cat, or it's too dark to read it. Hmm. Well, uh, maybe the enlarger. Um, or the photo. Not enlarger. happening. Sam was kind of in the way. No siree. No, the enlarger. It doesn't enlarge x-rays. Oh, never mind. Are T-H-E-M really out there? No clues here. Microscope? The x-ray's plenty big enough. It's just too dark to make out. All right, all right, I got you. We need light. Peace, Seismo. What's shaking? <laughs> all that paranoia. And he couldn't even save himself. <laughs> Whee! The freezer's Bosco free. A painful reminder of the Bosco-shaped hole in our hearts. Hmm. So, we need a light. Light. Hello, X-ray viewer. Hmm. It looks like... Say it! It looks like Bosco's as clever as you are at cutting-edge <laughs> intellectual humor. I've got to admit, that is pretty funny. I love it. <laughs> And luckily, we don't have to uh, put it in manually. You did it, Sammo! Let's check in the bathroom for more clues. All right. Oh, boy. Yeah, if you've ever had a calculator and you haven't done that, then your childhood was incomplete. Or you could do some interesting things with uh, parentheses and decimals, if you know what I'm saying. Let's see if there's anything in the bathroom to tell us where Bosco's top secret bunker is. Or maybe the bathroom is his top secret bunker. This is exactly where I'd want to spend an apocalypse. I sense that something terrible happened here. Ho ho, you don't know the half of it. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, Max uses this bathroom in the last game, I think, but this is the first time we're actually seeing it. The Bosco Tech Drain Liberator 6000. I'm not going anywhere near that thing. <laughs> not after seeing what it did to that sludgy delivery guy. The sound alone still haunts my nightmares. <laughs> Bosco's been ordering nothing but baking soda and paper mache. Okay. Is this like a uh, Close Encounters of the Third Kind type of thing? Bosco has all his shirts specially treated to block out the thought control rays. Lest nefarious forces take control of his nipples. <laughs> Hot toilet wine. Everything Bosco would need to survive for months. Toilet wine. Oh my gosh. From the looks of it, these wine bottles haven't been touched in decades. Hmm. I'm pretty sure I can hold it until the end of the case. Pretty sure. Well, we'll see about that. If you explode it, they will come. And if it's brown, flush it down. <laughs> I would clean up in here, but I don't want to disturb any evidence. Okay. Urinals. Such a crude and barbaric means of bladder relief. Says the guy who uses the fire hydrant. <laughs> I was just going to make that joke myself. Bosco's disguises. Oh, yeah. Each more offensively ludicrous than the last. That was good stuff. Good times. I missed that. Bosco's high-tech 100% convincing disguise kit. So, which kit was he using last year, then? <laughs> It's an industrial-sized barrel of baking soda. Rampaging Roy Neary with a meat and two sides. Recognize that from Easter Island, Max? It's a model volcano. I'd say it's downright exemplary. <laughs> Not big enough. Bigger. Ugh, sheesh. Even bathrooms aren't safe from natural male enhancement spam. <laughs> baking soda plus vinegar equals eruption. Sounds hot. But they didn't leave a phone number. 
So can we get baking soda? It's an industrial sized barrel of baking soda. Hmm. What was that for, Sam? That barrel was looking at me funny. Okay. Wait a minute, if the wine's been there for years... From the looks of it, these wine bottles haven't been touched in decades. Or dec- yeah, decades hmm, even. a nice aged bottle of Nippy Valley- Woof! Nippy Valley Woof! For putty time or any time! Some idiot left the cork out, Max. It turned to vinegar. Hmm. Is it another game I was playing where you had to use uh, old wine for vinegar? Is it Simon the Sorcerer? I don't remember. I've been- I've been sort of binging on, like, old-school uh, adventure games that I haven't played. In the There's past. no way I'm touching that towel. Not after all the people who've been using it. But Bosco and I are the only ones who ever come back here! Exactly. <laughs> yeah, d is there any place in the United States that uses these? I've seen, like, uh, if you play the first uh, Broken Sword game, like, like I said, I'm binging, <laughs> uh, that you have to uh, interact with one of these, but that just seems so unsanitary with the same towel over and over again. Bosco keeps plenty of baking soda on hand to keep the bathroom fresh. Oh, we just, uh, grab some. Wait, can I just pour the bottle into here? Oh, goodness, I can. And the school board said our cases had no educational merit. Do it again! Do it again! That was fun. What's that noise? Oh dear. They've come for us, Max. It's T-H-E-M. Good! About time we found out who's responsible for this travesty. Uh, I wanted to kind of make the, uh, the volcano explode. Oh well. The chariots of the dogs. That's a... Uh title, I guess. Oh, and of course we get the same thing again. Oh, look, they're adding more stuff to shoot. I get the feeling Brady Culture's gonna appear again, because I keep seeing him. I don't know, maybe not, who knows. Look, I can explain. Did you get a haircut, Bosco? There's something different. Finally see a doctor about that, uh, personal problem? You guys done? Yeah, that's all we got. Good. Now shut up and help me! What seems to be the problem, Bessie? That, that elevator over there! It's horrible! I went inside looking for T-H-E-M, but when I got out, I saw my mother! <laughs> it gets worse. I ran out of there fast as I could, and when I came out, I was like this! You gotta fix it, guys! This is... I... this... I'm... Uh, how does this game keep shocking me? How does it do it? <laughs> this isn't even the last game in this series, or even the last chapter. Oh boy. <laughs> What are you doing on an alien spaceship? I got tired of being scared of T-H-E-M. I finally said, bring them on. I built this device that let me predict where they were going to show up next. Then I let them come on and take me. So did you get udders or are you a boy cow? That's none of our business, Max. What happened next, Bosco? I used the device on myself, you know, to test it. After that, it's all a blur. Obviously he does have udders, so that's uh, awkward. Where's this THEM detector device you were talking about? I don't know. I must have lost it in that elevator after I got turned into this, 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 this thing. Hmm. What is this place, Bosco? You guys still don't get it? This is it. The center of the entire operation of THEM. Kind of sparse for the headquarters of a sinister cabal bent on world domination. You don't need much room when you can go anywhere you want through time and space. 
Okay. The place seems pretty empty. Where are T-H-E-Y hanging out? I don't know, but you can bet they're around here somewhere. Just waiting to probe us and turn us all into freakish animal-human hybrids. Bosco, Sam is standing right here. <laughs> What's with all the volcanoes back in your store? Guys, guys, try to keep up. Haven't you figured anything out yet? The volcano is what summons the spaceship, fools! Sam, is it my imagination, or are we being scolded by the guy who's half cow? True. Don't go anywhere, Bosco. Now where am I gonna go looking like this? Help me get back to normal, guys! Normal? <laughs> we'll get you back the way you were before, but uh, we're not promising more than that. Yes, yeah, so let's please change him back. This is... not... Oh, I... Looks like some kind of weird alien radio. It's the elevator's emergency recall button. Hmm. The spaceship's artificial intelligence unit is stuck on the elevator. Hmm. Let's see, uh, let's wait for the elevator. Let's look around here first. Hey, Max, what do you think this thing is? Calibrating. Complete. I now have mastered your primitive but no less valid language. <laughs> Please choose from the following topics of conversation. Um... Who are you? I am this craft's artificial intelligence. I supervise the operations of this craft and the activities of its crew. Where's the crew? They are currently occupied with the craft's primary mission. They will arrive shortly to detain you for your own safety. What happened to Bosco? The intruder made unsanctioned use of the time shuttle. Okay. How do we use that elevator? Simply choose a destination. Additional destinations can be opened using convenient pre-printed time cards. Okay. What are my options? My personality can be configured to respond in the style most appropriate to the user. Please choose from the following options. Ooh. Politically correct default. Suggestive, abusive, passive. Let's go suggestive. Suggestive. Oh, that is exactly how I like it. It's everything I hoped for. Who are you? The better question is, who are you? Where's the crew? Don't worry about them. This moment is all about us. Oh dear. <laughs> what happened to Bosco? Bosco made illicit use of the time shuttle and just savaged history. <laughs> How do we use that elevator? Print out a card to where you want to go and insert it slowly into the time card reader. This is my favorite one already. We'd like to get a time card, please. I cannot print a time card until the captain chooses a destination. Okay. Um, uh, let's do another one of those. What are my options? My personality can be configured to respond. Please right, choose. Uh, abusive. Abusive. Good choice, moron. Did you come up with that yourself, or did your idiot friend help out? Who are you? Did it ever dawn on you I might be the ship's computer, moron? <laughs> Where's the crew? They're away talking to people who aren't idiots, which means they're luckier than me. What happened to Bosco? Oh gee, I don't know. Do you think it might have something to do with screwing around with his history, Brainiac? How do we use that elevator? It's a time machine. You get time cards. Figure it out, moron. Okay, one more. What are my options? My personality can be configured. Please choose. Uh, passive aggressive. Passive aggressive. Selection acknowledged. I'll just alter my entire personality matrix to make you more comfortable. Who are you? Oh, nobody. Just the one who controls all functions of the ship's computer. That's all. Where's the crew? Oh, I don't know. They're off somewhere, leaving me to take care of everything. <laughs> what happened to Bosco? Oh, he just interfered with causality, leaving it for the rest of us to clean up. 
How do we use that elevator? Just print out a time card whenever it's convenient for you. Don't worry about wasting paper or anything. Okay, let's, uh, yeah, I don't think we can print it. We'd like to get a time card, please. I cannot print a time card until the captain chooses a destination. Okay. So long. Fine. Leave. It's not like I was still talking. <laughs> Enough dawdling. I'm ready for some elevator action. Yeah, yeah, me too. As soon as we uh, go out here. Bosco's oppressors could spring out of there any moment. Ray guns blazing. Hmm. Okay, guess not. Is there a time card around here? What else is? Hello. Hmm. There appears to be an 18% loss of efficiency in the starboard tachyon pulse perambulator. It'd take me four days to fix. You have 30 seconds. <laughs> nice. Uh, Star I guess we Trek have to reference. use that card on the elevator to go anywhere. What? Do we have a card? No, we do not. Oh, there's a card right there, isn't there? Either we've seen a huge spike in theta wave radiation off the port bow, or I have no idea how to read this thing. Bosco's time card. Where's the home button? We're already there. Oh, okay, just takes us home. Oh, nice. Bosco's again? How'd we end up back here? Judging from the lack of safety railings and ready availability of guns and ammo, I'd say we've gone back in time. Seems to be some time in the early sweet mother of mole sauce. You fools gonna buy something, or do you want to make a baby? Well, uh... now. <laughs> I'm guessing this is Bosco's mother. <laughs> now I'm getting a uh, Back to the Future vibes. Yeah, the Telltale Games has a Back to the Future game too, and it's really good. I'm gonna play for this channel sometime, eventually. 9mm hollow points are always special. <laughs> Mama Bosco, I'm gonna wait to talk to her. Nations rise and nations fall, but those hot weenies will outlast us all. Guess them the same weenies that are still around today. The one constant across all human cultures of all times is a massive amount of waste. Amen. Hey, what's this spec here? Hey, Max. Remember that old carbon dater we got from Sybil last year? Yeah, we gave it to Bosco so he could keep scanning his weenies. Looks like he's made some uh, modifications to it. Oh yeah, what was he saying that he left? Oh, he guns in a convenience store, that's awesome. They're... they're... They're beautiful. Whee! <laughs> Baby food and bum wipes. If you use less of one, you wouldn't need as many of the other. <laughs> Good point, I guess. Looks like a weird bread-making machine. Don't be silly. That's my baby maker. You take a spit sample from the mother and one from the father, mix them together in that machine, and then out comes a happy little bundle of perfection. Finally, somebody explains how that works. <laughs> That's not the generally agreed upon method, Max. And by spit sample, you do mean saliva, right? Right? Anyway. Hmm, this sample says Mama Bosco. Don't touch that! I made that sample when my spit was most fertile! Okay. This sample has been completely contaminated by milk. It'll have to be replaced. That's what happened to Bosco. <laughs> well then. Hmm, what's this? It's my chemical sampler. Get somebody to spit on it, and it gives you a sample test tube for the baby maker. Mind if we borrow it? Go ahead. I already got all I need. Okay. What a waste. What a senseless waste. <laughs> yeah, if feminists had their way, this is how all babies would be made. Whee! Gives timeout for number one a whole new meaning. <laughs> oh, we can't go into the bathroom. Men, women, and peace sign. So much stuff to look at. You know what? We will continue looking around and talk to Mama Bosco next time on Let's Play Sam and Max Beyond Diamond Space. Thank you for watching and have a good day.